or not. So, all right, today is a number body day again um, with core. So we've got some just like little utensils over here, like a little bench, maybe like a couch or something um, to help. We're gonna do some downward dogs and we're gonna be doing some planks today. So if you have bad shoulders or frozen shoulder, you want something elevated like that uh, just to help you out. So, all right, we're gonna get started with some arm circles. So we're gonna start with big ones first. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale. Up we go. And back down. Inhale. Exhale back for five. Four. Hope you all had a good weekend. I'm working on a big project. Ah, last one. My project started back in January. Uh, I was going to make an in home August 28th. I was pulling back wallpaper and it filled back so easily. That's because we had a leak in our roof and we had water coming down behind the wall. So, roof is fixed. Check. Now I get to rip out the rest of the drywall, which I did yesterday, and today more chipboard is coming down. I guess I get to put it all together. So, that's what I've been up to. Basic work out here in the garage. You'll notice that there'll be a step change come maybe later this week or next week because there'll be a car uh, right there. Last one going forward. Good, kind of shake it out. Arms straight in front of you. And like you're washing two walls, shoulders are staying down. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and then opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, press, flex, press. Um, some steel jacks first. So we've done steel jacks before in this series. Um, but as a reminder, steel jack is like a jumping jack. You start with everything together, feet together, you jump open and then close. Open and close. Now, if you need a modification for that, in here, you're going to step each side. Okay? So that's a modification. Otherwise, we're going to do 25 standard. Here we go. Shoulder blades are down the back, keep it together, and we go out in there. Notice my head is in line with the rest of my spine. Straight line from your tail down to your head. <sighs> breathing, breathing, breathing. Just focus on that breath when it gets hard. In through the nose and out through the mouth. We're over halfway there. Again, you got 20 seconds left. My shoulders are feeling it. <laughs> Especially from the tearing down all that drywall yesterday. Three, two, and one. You can go to your knees. Okay, nice little child's pose on the back. We're going to throw some punches next. We do some punches on Friday, a little jab and across. And today we're going to do a hook and an upper. So for your hook, you're going to make a hook with your arm. Just like so, okay? So when you make a hook, you want your elbow to be in line with your shoulder, wrist in line with the elbow, and like you're gonna be hooking around somebody and stopping pretty fast. So that hard stop is what's gonna work our left, okay? So we want to have that hard stop. Our upper is going to be, oh, sorry, so that again. <laughs> but still, same thing applies. So as we hook, 
you want that hard stop, get that right under that lat, and then we're going to do our upper. And we're also going to do a hard stop with the elbow, nice and tight to the body. So you want to think about squeezing the ribs and really giving someone a gut punch, all right? I'm sure there's enough frustration out there that you can pick something <laughs> to take your frustration out, all right? So we got 15 on each side, a hook and then an upper. So we have our um, five stance like we did Friday. We'll be here with our hands, touching that face, down nice and low. We're going to hook and gut punch, hook, gut punch, hook, gut punch, hook, gut, hook, gut, hook. Last one. <laughs> All right, other side. One foot forward, other foot is back, forward by degrees. Heels are aligned. Hands protecting that face. We're in an athletic stance. For our hook, gut punch. Hook, gut punch. Good morning. Hook, gut punch. Hook. chair pose. Okay, so 45 degrees from your head to your tailbone. Elbows are up as high as you can, but keeping those shoulders down. So you don't want to be like this, okay? So if you have to come up a little bit to make that happen, that's just fine. So a modification version, just take those hands behind us, with or without the weight. Standard version, as you are in that little chair pose, I'm going to take it straight back, and then take it back, and then hit. Take it back, and then the hip. The nose and the head again, find the line and try to stop at the hip so we don't use extra momentum. <sighs> Ten. We got five, four, and bring it up to that point. Three, two, our last one. We stay up, we're gonna pulse it in. That looks like this. All right, try and go above the butt, try and get those hands touched together. <sighs> Looks like from the front. Got five, four, three, two, and one. And ah, oh. oh, go, let go, let go. Okay, so there we've got a downward dog to plank action. And then we start all again. So for a modified downward dog to plank, use that little bench or something that I suggested. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to be on, on your tippy toes, hands in front of you. You want to back as far as you can, and then shifting into a plank. So you try to get your butt up as high as you can, and then so you get low into your plank. So we're going to do that on the mat. This is the modified version because you have bad shoulders, maybe a weak core, you can't hold yourself up your upper body yet. So I'm not have the modified version, and this one's going to be a guilty little bit steel. So we're going to do 15. You want to follow your breath. We start in our downward dog. Okay. So hands about shoulder apart. We're in our downward dog, looking at our knee. We inhale. Exhale. And up. Here we go. And exhale. And down. And up. And back and down. So the trick here is to make sure that you stop in the right spot is to squeeze the button. Otherwise, you might work like way too good. So if you squeeze the button from the get-go, you'll notice when your core is lost. So inhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale. 
Yeah. And if you're going a little slow in mind, that's okay. Just follow the breath. Try not to go faster than what I'm doing, though. You don't want to try to follow that breath. Try to calm it down. Start this week off right. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. You inhale it up. And exhale. I'm just going to hold it here for 10. Nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> okay, so shake it up. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're going to start back from the top, which is our steel jacks. Okay, so hands together. Remember, the modified version is just stepping out. Okay, otherwise, we are. Now we have our sound off to planks. So 
remember the modified version. Modified version is up on your leg couch or something on your two toes, angling the back, and then from the hips forward, holding it from one, two, and going back. And that whole fun back, that's just a really nice stretch for anybody who built the modified version of this. Otherwise, we'll be here. And this time, I'm going to be a little bit harder and have one leg up in the air. A nice little stretch, stretch. We did seven miles. Oh no, six and a half miles yesterday. Oh, All right, so we're going to have those hands right underneath the shoulder. We tuck those toes. Then we're dog. So we're going to do it normally. You're here. Then hold the plank. And then back on up. Oh, that's going to try to do it. Foot three. Begin to put up in the air. Don't do this if you see with it. Engage it. Inhale, exhale. Hold up. Exhale. Hold up. Exhale. You don't know if these ear buds are working or not, or you don't know if you're using them. Nice little test. Inhale, exhale it down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. We got five more. Five. Now, if you have your leg up in this round, make sure in the last round you have your other leg up. Inhale, exhale down. And last one. Inhale. Exhale down. And then knee down, knee down. Little child pose if you want it. Otherwise, yeah, round base or ten two. So, give us a sip of water. I'll be using myself. Make sure staying hydrated. It's time to put a girlfriend of mine. This evening is her daughter's first birthday. It's on Friday. And uh, this was her first birthday party, all that jazz. And uh, she's like, girl. I have not even getting my water in. Yeah, it's still jacks first. I have not been getting my water in. This is going to be coffee. And we were straight to walk. I'm like, well, you know, I can feel you. <laughs> but it's important to stay hydrated. It's important to stay healthy. Hydration is key to that. Yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, Plank. Last plank of the day. Minute. You know what to do for your modification if you need it. Otherwise, one foot out and another child. Another child. All right, slowly up we go. We've got our boxy mix. So, whichever side you want to start with is fine. Again, if you want to uh, have your weights here, that was awesome for me. So I did, like I said, my shoulders are sore from my uh, house projects. But here we are. So one foot forward, one foot back. You're in your fighting stance. We hook and gut. Hook, gut, hook, gut, hook, All right, so other side, heels are lined up. We're protecting that face. All right, and then we'll have a little stance. We have our hook, Back. 
your middle chair pose. Down we go, okay? So back is flat, elbows up, head in line, kick it forward, back on down, kick it forward. And start with the hip for five, four, hip, three, two, last one, leave those arms up, and toss it in two. Three, four, five. Ten, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, very nice. So from there, we got our downward dog plank again. So remember to head your foot up on one side and head your foot up on the other side. Just have my chip here. All right, so. Last time I had the left leg up, so this time I'm gonna have the right leg up. We go into all fours, reach up our toes, plank, downward dog, leg up, we have the other leg up. As we inhale, exhale, up, exhale, and up, and up, and up, I like it get back off, off the floor. So, whatever. All right. So, we're going to give our arms just a tad bit of break, but not really. So, we're going to have our feet nice and wide, so like on the edges of our mat here. Okay? So, our feet are wide, our hands right here. We're going to just try to climb a rope. From side to side. And as we're doing this, we're thinking about our belly button this way. Actually, actively, act like you're pulling yourself up. 10, 10, Ten more side. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Hold up. Three. Two. Three. One. And seven. Ah. Relax that head and neck. So now, when I have our feet together, our knees together, our hands under our head, we're going to go on our tippy toes. Okay? So the lower body is just coming in and tapping your tippy toes. That's what the lower body is doing. The upper body is going to crunch towards those knees as I bring them up. And then back, back and tap. Exhale. Now I'm trying to hug my elbows around those knees. The butt is this time, the little ball, we tap the floor. Exhale, little ball, pass the floor. Exhale, try to get those knees together. Slow control, slow control. I'm pulling my breath. Just the same. That's five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Two. And last. One. Oh, you should feel that whole stomach right there. So we're going to do those two again. So if you want to make this one harder, you can lift your legs up off the floor and try to keep your butt on down the spine, or you can just keep your feet nice and wide. So, I'm trying not to roll the pelvis. And those are your options. The climb, the climb, the climb, the climb. Up, 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 up. Next time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, one, and done. And then we have 
a little tight ball. Let's go. On the tippy toes, hands behind the head. Make sure you aren't cranking your neck though when you're doing this. So make sure you're just lifting up and you're not like pulling on the neck. All right, here we are. Inhale. Exhale, bend up to the spine. Hold the knees, the elbows, and tap. Try to hug it and tap. Touching the foot line, and we're climbing that rope. Here we go. Climb, 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 climb. Up, 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 15, 10 more, 4, 10, 9, 8, 0, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Holy smokes. All right, so from there, we're going to go ahead and go on to our tummy and do a little stretch out. So, hands. Under the shoulder, we inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Let's go ahead and get with each one you do. Inhale up. No child's nose. And to our toes, back it up, hands to our feet right here. Give yourself a little bend, maybe your hands aren't touching the floor, and that's okay. And rest those hands on the elbows. Just kind of like nod your head, yes. And shake it down. Nod, yes. And shake it down. And slowly go and slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll into the very low, 